Look at that. We're booting Windows XP Maxi Lite on the Peugeot Leo laptop. The project just started, ladies and gentlemen. There was not much to it. We could just simply boot from the CD and everything just went the way it should go. So now it's gonna look for previous versions of Microsoft Windows. If we still want to keep something, so I'm gonna show you something now. Uh, we have 679 megabytes free. So in fact, we could say install it on here, but then, you know, I just want to delete everything. I don't need anything on there. So we're just gonna, I'm just gonna delete these partitions, okay? D, O, D, what's it? D, enter L. So we have one partition there of two gigabytes. That's what we're gonna use. And of course, we're gonna uh, do a slow format. So we don't you know, miss no bad sectors. If there are bad sectors, we will know. But I don't think so, this drive is just fine. Okay, the formatting ran right. And we're uh, at this moment copying the files and then it will be installed and there you can see my light it works really good you see that and look at the effects you see that nice huh? the ceiling looks like really cool the installing uh, continued after a reboot and nothing is showing that this thing has only 96 megabyte RAM. <laughs> we will see when the system is installed, how it will run and how things will go. Okay, after uh, two, three reboots, we installed XP Maxi Lite also on this uh, Leo, Peugeot Leo laptop. It's running and up now. There you go. Starting up Windows. This is a real time boot. This thing has 96 megabyte RAM peeps. This is the 32 bit of Windows XP. We named it Maxi Lite. And I also got you a preset file, which you could try with NLite. I will include it in my next video showing uh, how to create a light version of this with N light. And here you can see it Microsoft Professional um, 233 megahertz, 96 megabyte of RAM, about the hardware, device manager. And amazingly, everything is installed. Display ad adapter is the Neo Magic, and the sound card is, of course, still the Yamaha OPL3 uh, with WM Alpha WM DM driver. Sorry for that. <laughs> it was a little bit hard to say, but uh, yeah. So this is it, um, and now we can go ahead and pimp the system. So, uh, well, pimp the system. We're gonna make the system kinda uh, beautiful, and we do that with certain tools. So let me get some tools so you can see what I'm gonna use. Okay, welcome back. I, for instance, have this file here. It's a folder. It's a team folder that will instantly change the look and feels of this system into something else. Let me show you. We go to my computer. Hope you can read it a little bit. We go to my C drive, show content. 
you go to windows show the bloody content oh my gosh and then we go to resources and then we see a folder called teams we go in there and then we're gonna post this windows team in here we go in there and then we're gonna hit it look what will happen look at the start menu look at everything hold on a second there you go you see that and then with start button and then apply you wait a second takes a second boom you see that look at the start menu here we now have the updated new windows start menu and we can just put this on top you see that so now we already have a complete different system already we go back to uh, my e drive up here i have my rocket doc we're gonna copy that straight up to my c drive that i cannot see here at the side So in fact these two files are already making the system modern. Two little two little files that can make the difference. We just hit this one as filled because oh I'm sorry. This one we need. And then boom here at the bottom. Look what was gonna happen. There it is, can you see it? It just arrived. We're gonna remove all the question marks out of it. Let's first uh, stop this ridiculous bubble. We go right mouse click dock settings. Yeah, we go to icons and we say no bloody bubble. So we also say here run at startup okay that's it we just remove all this crap out of it these question marks just pop them out like that you see that we just cleaned it up and now we also have this beautiful bottom bar here and uh, yeah the cool start menu it looks fantastic already right what do you say so um, yeah uh, this is the system 96 megabyte RAM Windows XP maxi light looking uh, fantastic already did not do anything about the icons Leave, left the icons the way they are I have another icon update package that I could put but I'm not gonna do it I'm just gonna leave it like this I don't want to hack the Explorer neither I just want to leave it original you know so yeah we don't make the system more vulnerable than it already is accessories here we have the programs you see it's looking all good I think this is a great uh, successful project okay though let me show you uh, how it became so you can have a little idea uh, we fixed the Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is fixed. Uh, we gifted the original, uh, yeah, wallpaper of Peugeot Leo. Uh, well, that's not Leo. It's just a Peugeot uh, wallpaper. But you know, it looks good with the laptop. We have the beautiful toolbar. We have the brand new uh, Orb Start uh, menu button. Uh, we have Camtasia installed, Camleon. Internet is not a big success. It's really slow on the internet. Uh, but that was the 400 uh, or the 366 megahertz as well. Um, installed K Lite Mega Codec Pack, but you need 3.9 version 3.9, very old version, because because of this processor. Uh, if you are on a, are on a better processor such as on the armada then you can go for um 
yeah for the for the normal version so that is what you need to know for the rest uh, magic's uh, music maker was not working it was too heavy and what i in fact do with this uh, baby and i was doing it just now and maybe i can demonstrate it before uh, we are out of time this is a real-time boot of Winamp Lite, of course, how else? And uh, here you can see that I have two channels selected. And in fact, we are now connected to the tower, the approach tower of Schiphol. And of course, nobody is talking now. And this old laptop is very functional now thanks to windows xp light maxi light and yeah i think the things that you want to do with it will be like writing listening to music oh yeah we should also look into the vcd uh, project uh, i think we can get some tool some vcd player and that just install it and then VCD should be able to play. Don't forget to install codecs. Codecs are very important. You know, um, go for the K-Lite Mega Codec Pack. It's a good one. Be careful with the spyware at the end. You know, make sure that you don't hit next, next, next too fast. And uh, in fact, that's it. So I'll go play with the system. I want to thank you for watching. If you like this project, of course, like, subscribe, and uh, let me know what you think of this project. Anyway, peeps, in my next video, we're gonna jump into the computer and we're gonna make a desktop recording of all the apps that I use and that you should or you could also use or at least think of to use because uh, they are kind of fitted for the system. Don't forget, this is a very old system uh, you must stay very calm don't lose your temper and uh, yeah just uh, enjoy for what it is and don't try to do things that are not possible until my next video